Good morning, good afternoon, good night, guys. What is up? It's Jojo, and I'm with Kyle today. We are at Epcot. There's some new things happening. Uh, Ratatouille's fences have been like knocked down and just been replaced, so maybe something's happening there. We're gonna check it out. Um, there's new barges in the lake, so we're gonna check that out as well. And of course, it's Festival of the Arts. It's my second I time farts. being here. I farts. That's the acronym part, if you didn't know. Fun fact. We're gonna try some food. At least I'm gonna try Ratatouille because uh, I really want to try it. the actual food, not the ride. The ride's not open yet. But maybe. you enjoyed. Maybe. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you go ahead, like, subscribe, share, ring that bell, and make sure you go check out Kyle's channel as well. He will be vlogging as well today. So uh, of course, of course, yeah. every single day, baby. Let's do it. For all my pin trading friends out there, you can still pin trade in the Disney theme parks. All you gotta do is drop your pin off in there, and then the cast member will pick off the pin from this wall that you want and give it to you. It's a very clean and safe way of trading. So uh, yeah, just to let you know if you didn't know that. The line for Spaceship Earth this morning. 25 minute waits. Look at that. A little building construction up there of innovations. Uh, basically everything has been levied now and they're working on it slowly inside. The construction is very visible on this side of the park. Good morning, Joy. Or it's actually good afternoon tonight. How are you doing today? Are you having fun? I like, is that a little wind blower playing with the wind today? Sure. I, uh, I love it. You know, it's kind of artsy. It's kind of, it's kind of in theme for Festival of the Arts. Yeah. Good job. Do you like the arts? Are you, oh, you love it? Okay, I feel that. I feel that. You, did you draw a painting the other day or are you, are you working on one right now? Okay, okay. So maybe I'll come back another day and I can check it out. Awesome. Well, you have a good day, Joy. Okay, good to see you. <laughs> this whole side of Epcot's very interesting because it's very low key. All you have over here is kind of living with the land soaring, which is inside, so that's kind of isolated. Sometimes you have character meet and greets, as we just met Joy, which is awesome. Uh, you got the seas right here. Hopefully one day this will all open and we can go inside. I'm excited for that. Over on this side is the expression section where socially distanced you can still paint, which is awesome. The expression section is open until 5 p.m. You pick your paint up over here and then you go wait in line. Oh, so how does this work? I just pick one? Yeah, pick a color of your choosing. Any color you like okay. and don't forget a brush. Okay, perfect. I will do six yeah. and we'll get this brush. And here we go. Excited. Almost. And when you're done, you get this little bookmark thing. You get thing. that, yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Have Thank a good you. day. I'll have to come back to see the final picture one day soon. Coming back over here, there's Pooh Bear <laughs> struggling to climb up a mountain. Looks like he's getting a little tired. I love him though, he's so funny. Oh, you got this, Pooh Bear! You got this! You did it! You did it! Hey, you made it up the hill! <laughs> Living with the land is at a five minute wait, and Soren around the world is only at a 20 minute wait. That's pretty good. Okay, Soren isn't a 20 minute wait. I think it's a walk on. Like, look at this, everyone. This is great. They're using both standard and fast pass queue. So that was a walk-on. We didn't even wait. That was less than 20 minutes. We're looking at the map right now in Epcot and it looks like a lot of the rides are low wait times today. This might be a really good day to be here. Okay, we are now headed into the Festival of the Arts to get some festival food. Um, I haven't spent that much time in that whole area in a long time, so that was kind of fun actually. If you're enjoying this vlog, uh, make sure you go ahead and like it. Kyle, thumbs up, please. First stop today is deconstructed. I'm gonna get the deconstructed Reuben. All right, so I'm going to try the Brussels sprout. I love Brussels sprouts. Here we go, bombs up. Mmm, mmm. That is a really good Brussels sprout. Yeah, it was good. It's kind of vinegary, salty. I don't know, um, they must have seasoned it or put it in something, because that's really good. Here is what it looks like, the Brussels sprouts right there. I had a bite of this. I don't really like the texture, but it is like tasty. I was really hungry. It's very salty. This, there's a lot of like oils and vinegars in this dish, but I like it. This right here is pretty good. Kind of like a biscuit. All right, so I'm about to try the corned beef. Good, right? Yeah. My favorite one. Corned beef is good. 
You know it's a slow day in Epcot when the Starbucks line doesn't have a line. This is wild. I'm gonna get a drink. Shout out my P.O. box. I actually got this as a gift, this Starbucks gift card. So I'm getting Starbucks today as a little gift. I appreciate it. And if you ever want to send me cool messages or letters or anything, uh, I do have a P.O. box. I love doing P.O. box opening. So a description and information about that down below. Look at this. This is JoJo with little ears. We have a super cool update here in Epcot. They've added another barge into the middle of this lake. If you don't know, these barges are gonna be uh, big fountains during the daytime and at nighttime, they're gonna be a nighttime spectacular. And I'm super excited for this. And it's kind of weird. Let me get your opinions down below. How do you feel about these things being in the middle of the lake? It's kind of like ruining my view of America right now and of Germany, but I'm sure once this is done and they're completed everything it looked really cool I hope the nighttime spectacular harmonious is good because I don't know these things are kind of right in your face Epcot today is not crowded at all this is the first time in a long time I haven't seen like it bustling of people it is a Tuesday afternoon today we are about to go into the world show place to see the festival offerings I know you can get the food ratatouille in here and that's what I want to try the show place is slowly starting to become my favorite place during the festivals. Oh my god, the chandeliers just changed colors. They went from orange to blue. I love that. They have a lot of different arts here. Look at this. Dave made all of these. Super cool. Wow. I love this. Anyway, you can get art and food in the show place during the Festival of the Arts. If you're a fan of certain artists, sometimes they come in to sign their own portraits. This Tower of Terror portrait is so cool. I like it a lot. Look at that. We are now at the festival favorite stand and I'm gonna get Remy's Ratatouille. Thank you. There you go. Appreciate it. You're welcome. And here's Remy's Ratatouille. I'm excited to try this. I didn't get this last time, but it looks really good. And for only $5, feels like a pretty good bang for your buck. Fun fact, this is part of the Colorful Cuisine uh, Trail. Uh, we got one, so I'm not gonna do this all today, but I'm gonna save this, because when you get all of them, you get a free item. I'm gonna try this right now. All right, here we go, Ratatouille. You like it? Yeah. I like this kind of stuff. You don't know how to like, weight everything. So. I like the zucchini, and the sauce is really good too. to England now they actually have this really cool feature normally when there's character meet and greets they have these nice portraits next to them but because there's no character meet and greets they have all of them over here in this nice little area for everyone to look at for themselves you have Princess Aurora right here Mulan drawn by Mushu Donald Duck drawn by himself and Belle and Snow White and there's Alice good afternoon Alice how are you Oh, that's good. Are you doing anything with the roses today or any? Oh, you're watering. watering. Got you. Got you. <laughs> Looking good. I mean, you're... Yeah. I mean, you're doing a great job. You're welcome. Well, you have a good day, okay? Huh. Look at Alice. Look at Alice. <laughs> As you see right here, reimagining the future, Harmonious will be a stunning celebration of the global connection we all share, brought to life each night here on the World Showcase Lagoon. By day, a dazzling fountain with sparkle, at night, iconic Disney music and images, reimagined by artists around the world, will inspire with stories we share. As you see, there's gonna be three barges, and at nighttime, those barges are gonna shoot fireworks. There's two right now. One more has to come in soon. In another cool Epcot update, Ratatouille is getting closer and closer to being open. There used to be a ton of walls here. I've covered this before, but now they changed the wall with these green bushes. Last time I saw these green bushes was at Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, right before they did their cast previews. So it's safe to say that they're planning something soon. I don't know if it's gonna be like a media day or maybe just a soft opening, but one thing's for sure. They're getting ready for something, and this is pretty exciting. Make sure you go ahead and ring that bell so you never miss a post from me, because the minute this opens up, the minute they're doing a soft opening, you know I'm gonna be here. A ton of vloggers are. This is really exciting. By the way, this ride technically already exists in Disneyland Paris. However, I'm not spoiling myself. I'm gonna get my first time reaction with all of you guys on the vlog. 
I can't wait. It's gonna be fun. Vibrante is not busy at all, which is the new studio here. However, the festival market all the way over here is crazy. Another Epcot update here in America. A new exhibit will be coming to the American Adventure in February called The Soul of Jazz. Obviously, it's based off the movie Soul, but it's gonna be in there, so keep an eye out for that if you're here in February. I'm excited, I'll cover it for sure. I do like how they're using the construction walls as nice places to put the butterflies. That's another one. I love the butterfly pictures. I think it's a cool follow-up. Also, here we are, another angle of the barges. It's a pretty chill day today, honestly. It's really not that busy at all, which is really nice. Kind of odd, though. They still have some Christmas decorations. I feel like they gotta get rid of those soon. Oh, wow, yeah, they do. <laughs> Weird. We're about to go on Frozen. Uh, it's at a 20-minute wait. Uh, it's 3 o'clock now. We'll see how long it actually takes. Hopefully not long. I love this movie. <laughs> the queue for this place is pretty cool. At 3.13, we're getting on the ride. Our Uber has arrived, and now there's uh, plexiglass here so everyone can be on one boat, which is interesting. Look at that, one side, another side. Shorter than 20 minutes, definitely a good day to be in Epcot. Definitely my favorite art booth is the Marvel one. Like, look at this. That's amazing. Before we end our day, I ran into a special friend here. This is Rick. He's one of my Patreons. Uh, we have been chatting on there for a while now, and he was coming around. He's like, hey, are you free on this day? I'm like, yeah, I'm in Epcot. So he just came off Figment. How's that? Wonderful. Yeah. Love Figment. Love that little purple dragon. <laughs> so it's all the way back in the 80s. Oh, my. That's true. Wow. That's way before my time, yeah. honestly. <laughs> you weren't alive. <laughs> no, I was not. But it's so good to see you, man. Great. Good to catch up with you. Glad yeah. to finally get to meet you in person. Awesome, right? <laughs> All right, guys, with all that being said, it was a wonderful, chill day here at Epcot. Low wait times, low crowds. Here. Honestly, I wish we could have this more often. I haven't seen this in a while. This is the first time in 2021 that this has happened, so it was nice. Nice surprise. Um, make sure you go check out Kyle's channel. He's doing a vlog on this day as well. And uh, thank you to all of my Patreons. We are only 10 away from 50. When we hit 50, we're going to do a big Zoom call. It's going to be a lot of fun. And just in general, thank you for liking, sharing, subscribing. I appreciate all of you. And remember, every day is a blessed day to be alive, and we will see you in the next one. Peace.